Similar figures are figures that have the same shape and the same angles, okay, but they're going to be a different size. Okay? This symbol here, which looks like a little squiggly line, means similar to. Here's an example of some similar shapes. You can see they're both triangles. They both have the same angles. And so what we say is triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Another thing that we can talk about when we talk about shapes is whether or not they're congruent. Shapes that are congruent have the same size and the same shape. They're essentially exactly the same. And this symbol right here, it looks like an equal sign with that squiggly line, means congruent to. Here's an example of some congruent figures. You can look at these two triangles and see they're exactly the same. They're the same size, the same shape, everything about them is the same. So we would say triangle MNP is congruent to triangle RST. Now when you're talking about congruent figures, it's really important to know that the order of how you say, how you say things is important. So for example, this is triangle MNP. Since M comes first right here, on this triangle we have to have that same angle come first. Triangle In this triangle it would be R. So these two angles, this one here and this one here, are exactly the same. So N is our middle angle right here, and that's in the same position as this one. So it means those two things are the same. And finally, lastly, we have P. So this angle right here is going to be the same as this angle here. So you have to have things that are in the same position considered equal. So we call those corresponding angles in this case. This angle corresponds to that angle because they're in the exact same position. And because these figures are congruent, it means those angles are congruent also. So let's look at some figures here. We're going to decide, are these figures congruent, similar, or neither? And we're going to start off with figure A and figure C. Oops. And when I look at A and when I look at C, what I notice is they're both squares. So they're the same shape. They are definitely different sizes. And I can see that because I can put A right inside here. So I know they're not congruent. So they're the same shape. They have the same angles. That's going to make these two figures similar, not congruent. Because in order to be congruent, they'd have to be the same size. Now let me show you something about similar figures that's important. When figures are similar, I'm going to put this A back inside here. It's like it's the same shape but just a smaller version of it. Okay? And what you can tell when you put one shape inside the other is that this has the exact same amount of space all the way around it. Okay? It's not like these two shapes. If I look at this one here, D, and I look at E, those are the same shape. They're both rectangles. But if I look at D and E, D has just been squished together. Okay, it's smaller on this side and it's smaller on this side. But these aren't going to be similar shapes because in order for them to be similar, it would have to be the same smallness or the same decrease in size all the way around. And it's not. So those two would be considered neither. Okay, let's look at F and H. Now these are definitely both trapezoids. Okay, so they're the same shape. If I flip this one around, okay, I can see that these two shapes are going to be congruent because they're the exact same shape and they're the exact same size. So we would say these two shapes are congruent. All right, let's look at some more. I've got M and I've got J. So here's shape M and here is shape J. Now when I look at these two shapes, they look like they're about the same size, but the one thing that I notice about them is that they're totally different shapes. And if they're totally different shapes, they can't be congruent. And they can't even be similar, because in order to be either similar or congruent, they have to be the same shape. So for these, we would say they're neither similar nor congruent because they're totally different shapes. One's a pentagon, one's a hexagon. All right, well, let's look at L and J. So I'm going to take this J from here and bring it back here. And this time I want to look at L. Well, these guys look like they're the same shape. They're both pentagons. But let me slide this inside here. Remember, in order for shapes to be similar, they have to be the same shape, and they have to have the same angles. If I were to slide this one up, look at that angle at the top. I can tell that L's angle is not the same as um, 
J's angle because it's it's more acute. It's smaller here. Okay? So this is not the same angle. Okay, if I slide it over here, oops, let me see if I can grab it. I can see that that angle is also different. Okay? So these two are going to be considered neither. Again, it's almost similar because they're the same shape, but because they have different angles, it's not similar. In order to be similar, it would have to be the exact same shape with the exact same angles, just a smaller version. Kind of like these two. So we're looking at J and I here. Let me slide this inside. See, these guys now have the same angles. If I line up the angles, we can see that they're exactly the same. It's just that my shape J is just a little bit bigger. And the easiest way to tell that, like I said, is if you look at all around, if you put one shape inside the other, we can see that this border is about the same distance all the way around. So what I would say for these two shapes, I and J, they're not exactly the same size, so these are going to be just similar. All right, and last but not least, we want to look at A and we want to look at B. So here's B. A is over here, and they look like the same shape. They look like they're the same size. I'll test it out right here. Yep, same size, same shape, same angle, same everything. We're going to call those congruent.